Yo, what is going on guys? Brian here today and today bring us back yet again another NASCAR Heat 4 uh, championship career mode, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah. today we are at Dover for 84 Ops. See you guys all qualifying. Alright, so we're coming out of turn 4 here. A little bit loose. We do have a little bit of a looser setup on here for qualifying. Just so that we really have no drag or anything. Um, of the other two attempts I did in this race, like for practice and stuff, I qualified like 9th, I think, 9th and 12th. See how we do come a little bit loose there. We're gonna have to adjust the setup, but we're gonna come across the line 23.6. That's gonna give us 17th. I'll see you guys all the green flag. Alright, we are all set for 84 laps of Dover. We're already off to a good start, making up four, five, six positions. Diving down in turn one underneath Jimmy Johnson. Now, you guys will not see the Taudega race or the um, Richmond race. Uh, those files got corrupt, so there will be no Richmond or Taudega. We did win it. Taudega, then we got way tight there. Oh my god, we got way too tight. Alright. So we won at Taudega and finished third at uh, Richmond. Uh, Austin Dillon kind of screwed us at Richmond. So. We did done wreck us. 14 laps here in stage number one, and we need to make some kind of adjustment. We should have kept that. That loose part in the car. Um, yeah, it changed it over to the custom race setup. Bad idea. We are on a controller today because the wheel is being stubborn and acting up, so. Are gonna clear him now. Ten laps to go in stage one. Uh, we can go 36 laps on fuel, which that's 40 total laps. So we'll be good for a while on fuel. We'll probably still take a little bit on the stops. So the tires did not last long. I'm to work Chase Elliott over, but we, we just can't get under him enough to really clear him. And if we run the bottom, we're way too loose like that. We're going three wide, coming out of turn number four, diving into turn number one underneath Ryan Newman in the, wing, in the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Oh, you say three wide. Oh my. So, two laps to go in stage number one. Can we hold off Chase Elliott to finish 8th place and get some stage points? I'm going to enter in just a little bit too low there, wash up the track, but we're going to keep 8th place as it come white flag in there, hit the apron. So if we are gonna get seventh place from Ryan Blaine's. Oh, maybe. Yes, we are. We're gonna come across the line now. To uh, oh, all right. I'll see you guys all at the green flag after we pit. Okay, we are all set to go back green flag racing here in stage number two. We didn't lose any spots on pit road, thankfully. We took four tires, fuel, and made a small adjustment that hopefully helps us. So, yeah, we're very unstable right now. Then we got Eric Jones sending it in there. I don't know what we did on that pit stop, but that... The 
We've lost a lot of position since the start of that stage. Kind of mainly because we're stuck up on the top side. But if we can get to the bottom. No, because a freaking Mexican wants to take our spot away. We're going to hit the wall on the inside and outside. Hopefully there's no caution. There is a caution. So uh, we're going to make a quick adjustment. That means we're going to be at the back because we are tight. I mean, look at that. The right front's dead. So I'm going to make an adjustment. I'll be right back. Be ready. All right, we are ready to go back racing. For the remainder of stage number two here, Paul Menard did not get a very good start. It's Paul Menard, right? Yeah. I was thinking of Matt DiBenedetto. Boy, all right, we're... We gotta watch that right front. If the wear, if it starts to wear faster than any of the other tires, that means we're really tight. So, yeah. Clint Boyer a little tap there. We gotta try to get in as many positions as we can because I don't know what the pitch strategy is gonna be like. We're oh boy, we got loose there. Um, we will probably take right sides if everyone pits, but if no one pits. Then we'll just stay out with everyone else. We're gonna finish stage number two in 16. Uh, after having that incident there, we got to get damage fixed and all that. So yeah, let's see what everyone does here. Let's see what everyone does. Um, so it doesn't look like anybody's petting. So I'll see you guys all at the uh, start of stage number three. All right, here we go. Getting ready to start. Stage number three. We're green. Martin Truex Jr. did not get a good start there. Neither did the outside line. That's normally how it is here. For some reason, the outside line does not want to go. We're going to get a good run down the back straight away. Block Blaney to the bottom. Right under Kyle Larson. Going into turn three and four there. All right, so after that little incident there. Turns out they're just uh, park people working on the lines or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, they did done. Scared me. We got a pretty good car here. Um, once we can find some breathing room, we're able to really kind of set sail here. Ten laps to go. We are in tenth position. Let's see what we can do. Two point eight seconds to the leader. That's a pretty big gap. Um, all right, here we go. Nine laps to go. Gone. We're just gonna have to kind of rely on the car saving itself. So. We're going to at least try to get a top five, and definitely going to try to get more than just top five, but, you know, charging down the back stretch, going to get in the draft of Brad Kozlowski, dive on the inside of Daniel Suarez, he stole our position, so we're going to steal his, give him a little bump there, we're able to clear Suarez. Kyle Busch going to the bottom. We're going to follow him through there. If Joey Logano doesn't squeeze down on us, but he is. I hate Joey Logano so much. So much, I tell you. Bush going to get to our left recorder panel. Just barely touches. We're going to side draft him. 
try to get underneath him here and return the favor back to him because Oh boy, we are really loose right now. Oh boy, all right, all right. I don't know why we're so loose, but we're gonna try to finish out this race here. We got four laps to go. Right, I need you to spin. Right, three to go. Sorry, two to go. We're trying to gain honor, but I don't think it's going to happen unless a caution comes out now, so. White Flags in the Air is sponsored by, um, I don't know, what should this race be sponsored by, um, coronavirus because it just extended everything and it's gonna be a long freaking month I'll tell you that so as you come off at turn number four we're gonna come across the line p3 not what we wanted but it's good enough so uh yeah let's look at the point standings here's the race results we didn't finish too far back we only finished four seconds back but we had some bad tires and everything so there's the point standings um we have three wins Denny Hamlin has two but we need some more playoff points and more stuff so uh yeah thank you guys all for watching today make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video